Document one Hi everyone, Dr. Robinson here with another Tech Vision lesson. And today we're going to go over the Focus 40 and how you can navigate with it, just moving around and all the different options for reading. So the first one we're going to do is just start with move to the top and the bottom. We're already at the top. So to move at the bottom, we're going to do four, five, six, and space. Um, from the different galleries. Yep. It pops right to the bottom. So to move right to the top and all of these commands really make a lot of sense. So one, two, three, space to move back to the top. Top video provides a powerful way to help you your point when you click online. Now, what you're going to discover is everything on the left-hand side moves to the left or up and everything on the right-hand side moves to the right or down. So let's go ahead and just move lines at a time. And so we're going to deal with one and four. So we already know we're at the top, so I'm going to do dots four and space and move one line at a time. And again, again. Okay. and let's go back up. So one in space, one in space, one in space. That easy. Okay, now let's do words at a time. So we're dealing with two and five, and I need to move forward to the right. So let's do dot five in space. Okay, let's move back with two in space. Eight. Okay, let's move one character at a time. So we're dealing with three and six. Let's go six in space. R -O -V -I -E. Let's go back Delta. with three and space. I -V -O -R -E. Okay, so that starts at the top of the keyboard. Once again, the middle button between one and four is a configuration uh, key, so just leave it alone for now. Okay, so now let's move down. Okay, let's move to like everybody's favorite, the router keys. We love, love, love the router keys. So as I move along and you need to, let's say, fix a sentence, I'm on A right now, so let's go ahead and route my cursor. I feel the A and go straight up. And there is A. And let's say we wanted to put another word in there. Video provides, oh, I know. Let's actually go forward one character. We can do that space. with six in space. How about and, all? And. Okay. All. Video provides all powerful way. Okay, that doesn't make sense. All the, let's put yeah, the in there. Go. Okay, anyway, you get the idea. Okay, so the router keys, what's so wonderful is you can immediately go to any letter, any word, and you can route your cursor and instantly pop there. Let's go ahead and move back to the beginning and instantly pop back to powerful. So that is just great. And I tell you that the router keys just make us so, so fast. Now let's move to our mode buttons. They're the little round dots on the very left and the right-hand side. Now, these are the nav rocker switches, and a lot of times I'll say rocker even before I say nav, They're then the navigator options. So you push your mode button, and let's listen. Display panning. Display panning. Lines. Lines. Sentences. 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 Paragraphs. Paragraphs. I wanna put paragraphs on this side, and of course, choose something different on the other side. So on the left-hand side, I'm gonna choose something different. Sentences. Sentences, yeah, I like that one because then it moves me from period to period and from the start of each sentence. So let's move paragraph at a time. I'm on my right-hand side, quick nav. That's when I change to paragraphs. And I'm going to sit on the bottom of that rocker and I'm just gonna press down, okay? Right to the next paragraph, again, down to the next paragraph, down to the next paragraph. Now I'm going to move up and I'm going to hit the top of my rocker nav button and I move up really quickly. Okay, so now on the left-hand side, these were sentences, so now I'm going to move down, okay? And notice I'm at the start of every sentence, okay? So this child, let's say the teacher says move to whatever sentence, you can just quickly put your finger so your right hand is on uh, the start of the sentence, and you immediately see, for example, click insert, okay? Themes, it's just so nice. So you've got lots of different options on that. 
Now let's go ahead and move down a little bit more. Okay, so our panning buttons. The panning button is going to move a, an exact width of this display. So if you're reading along on the display and you need to progress, you want to hit the right panning button and it will immediately move you to the next line. Now, if you're visual, you're gonna notice your cursor is moving exactly along with the display. This really helps those sighted individuals, the adults working with the kids, they are learning braille right along with the child. It helps them kind of sort of figure out where the kid is at. And of course, we changed that in last, uh, the last lesson under insert six and Braille, and we changed those options. Remember your status also, you can do insert six and you can change your status to none. So you don't read any status at the start of the left-hand side of the line. Uh, however, if you're doing tables, I highly suggest putting your status option back there so you know the column and row that you're in. Okay, so now let's go back to our panning buttons. Of course, if my right one is moving me forward, my left panning, me, panning button is moving me backwards, okay? And it moves one width, 40 cells of the display. Let's go ahead and move in toward the center and we now have our rocker switches. So I'm gonna use the right-hand side one first. I'm going to press up on it. And of course it moves it up one line at a time, nice and easy. Now I'm going to move down. Okay, nice and easy. Now let's do the left-hand side. I'm going to press up. Complement each other. For example, you can add a matching wood profile. And you'll notice header, cover page. it reads out loud. <laughs> so you have on silent mode options, and then you have read out loud People motions. Okay. And down again. Each other. For example, so those are really nice options. Now, once again, the options in the middle, uh, there are going to be command options, configuration options that will be done in a different lesson. So those are your way that you can navigate around really, really quickly once you space get back the top. and we just love those all those different options to navigate but don't forget those cursor router buttons we love that you just find a word go straight up and go ahead and route that cursor and it moves the cursor directly to the word that you want okay that is how you do it so powerfully and easy how to navigate using the focus 40 braille display